Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to explain where I have been and um, my last video really. Um, this will only be going up on my beauty channel, I know my vlogs were going up on both channels but I'm going to do a separate video because um, I have things to show on that channel anyway. Um, but for now um, I'm just going to explain what's happened and obviously on Friday when I uploaded my video I didn't really want to explain too much and, and things like that but now I am willing to briefly explain what happened not I'm not going to go into any detail or anything like that um, on Thursday I was vlogging as usual and and whatever um, but on Thursday at about half past three I was assaulted and I was it was outside my my home I'm in a block of flats with electric gates and it was just literally outside the gates but um, yes I was assaulted um, the two people that were involved were arrested and they've been charged and yeah that that's it so far the the only um, injuries that I came away with was um, a scratch to my lip it must have been done with either her now or a ring or something um, I had all swelling down this side of my face especially sort of here and along here it was really really swollen and still now my nose is really really sore um, it's really tender along the bone here and especially underneath I didn't come out in any bruises or anything like that my car was damaged at the time um, a wing mirror got broken, um, my wing and my door was dented. Um, I will tell you that there, there was two of them. Uh, while one was attacking me, the other was attacking the car. Um, but yeah, that, that's what's happened. Um, they were charged, they were arrested and charged on Thursday. And I believe they got released in, in the evening sometime. Um, I spoke to the police about her past seven and said that they're being questioned and whatever but I didn't hear until the next day that they've actually been charged and they pleaded guilty so I'm gonna leave that at that that that's what's happened that's why I haven't been um, vlogging because obviously I haven't been out and about I haven't been in the mood and everything like that I haven't been out the house um, on my own since I've literally been to Tesco's and um, that was I dragged Ian with me. I didn't want to leave on my own. So literally Tesco's is across the road But I still didn't want to go on my own um, I was lucky enough that the man across the road that owned or works in the bike shop, which is called Healy's um, He actually saw what happened and took a picture of the car that they were in. So that's how they got arrested um, So yeah that that happened then on a Thursday evening at some time, um, my car was badly scratched. And on Friday morning, Ian went up and went, go, went to go to work and he actually saw the scratches on my car. They weren't there before, so, and the police took pictures of the, the damage and everything. I took pictures of the damage that day, there was no scratches. Um, then on Sunday evening, uh, a load of tools of Ian's got stolen and they are in a secure box out of, out by his car um, uh, a few things got stolen from there so in the last week let's say week nearly um, three things has, have happened and it's just been a really rough week um, Thursday evening to Saturday I would say I just had constant headache and it was like all across the top, front of my head it was just awful I would take tablets it would go and then it would come back um, I went to bed Thursday evening with a whopping headache but just it just wouldn't shift but yeah that is basically what happened and what is still happening um, I am a bit, I'm still shaken up by it, I really am, and it's not something that I would ever expect outside of my 
my house but um the the thing that um scared me the most was that this has happened to me before um i was living in walthamstow and i'm not saying that it's a bad place it's just where i was living um and i parked outside the house i was living with um ian's parents and parked outside the house and i got carjacked and there was a man with balaclava and he was punching me in the face and trying to take the keys out of my hand lucky enough i had the ring over my thumb and he was trying to prize my fingers and um yeah that that happened and i was only driving for about a year a year and a half if that so that that really shook me up as well and it happened about half half past eight nine o'clock of an evening um it was winter so it was dark but it's not something you expect to happen literally right outside your front door lucky enough ian's dad heard me and everyone else come running out of the house but it was too late they were gone um but yeah it brought that back to me it did bring flashbacks of that back and when i went to bed on thursday evening when I closed my eyes, all I could keep recalling was, was that that was happening. Um, not like this time, that's all I could recall that was happening. And yeah, it's it's not a nice thing to, to go through. And that's why I haven't been recording, just because I haven't been doing anything. And I just needed time to chill, relax. And yeah, that that is that. Um, Regarding the rest of Everyday May, um, I'm not going to be vlogging every day. Um, just obviously because this is still so fresh and I'm still not really doing anything in particular. And yeah, so that is that really. I'm not going to be doing Everyday May. I will vlog here and there and you probably see it at the end of the week or at the end of the month I am doing Comic Con with my sister so I will probably vlog then and it will be a bit more exciting so yeah that is what I am going to be doing I'm not going to be vlogging every day so I do apologise I did foul at Everyday May um, but I think if obviously this didn't happen on Thursday then I would have probably struggled through it still um, but yeah that that is what's happening but I thought I'd ha just have a sit down with you explain what's happened um, I will still be putting videos up on my channel um, I don't know when I haven't got anything planned at the moment but if you want to see anything leave me a comment down below um, but yeah other than that I I haven't got anything planned as of yet hopefully by the end of the week there may be um, a video up or something but yeah so but for everyone that was actually following my everyday May and I was oh excuse me I'm so sorry um, let me just have a sip of my coffee my cup actually says I'm usually gorgeous but it's my day off <laughs> Um, I love that cup. Um, for you that was following my everyday May, every now and again I was showing you my crochet top. I have finished it and I finished it last night. This is what it looks like. It looks very wide but I think that's because it's not got no stretch so it has to be the widest that it is. But it does go round me. It is a little bit big so I have put this on the inside just so I can... Can you see the, the ripples in the top just so I can pull it tight and then the straps you're probably not interested but the straps are I've just put buttons on them at, on the inside at the back for now just so because I know they will stretch a little bit so once they've stretched to their their stretch um, I'm just gonna stitch them in and probably take the buttons off because yeah um, I think it would be better like that but I'm really pleased with it I finished it last night and yeah so I just thought I'd show you that because obviously you was um, watching my everyday maze and if you are interested in what I make and my crochet my knitting journey as well go check out my other channel it is linked down below and um, that is all my knitting and crochet and 
crafty bits um but yeah so go check that out if you're interested if not obviously subscribe to this channel if you're not already um and i am hoping that new videos will be up very shortly so watch this space anyway i'll see you all later and thank you for watching um yeah that's it bye